I think that wildlife rehabilitation is a calling. I think it's a passion. I spent 10 years of my life looking at every dilapidated barn and broken down house, chicken coops, anything that could potentially be for the center. It took about five, six years, but I finally got in front of our governor and he granted it. So then we spent the next three years renovating it. And then we opened in 2019. My mission is to rehabilitate injured and orphaned native Maryland wildlife and to educate the public about wildlife issues. 50% of the birds born last year won't make it through the first winter. So right now, we have eight hawks and owls that came in starving. There's five different cages, different substrates in each one. Each cage is set up for a different animal. Each perch is a different size. We have one more cage that we need to build that's a really big cage. It's actually a, an oval flight cage. Three cages in the middle, and then the birds just fly around and around and around, and then when they get tired, they come down. It really gives them free flight. We spent $90,000 last year just for food and supplies. So we spend over $100 a week on just vegetables and stuff like that. We don't charge for what we do. And we are 100% community supported. People give us everything from gift cards. You can send us a check, PayPal, Venmo. Drop off a 20, drop off a five, drop off a hundred. A lot of people give us memorial donations. We get lots of donations from people who've passed away and they don't want flowers, but they'll say, donate to the Phoenix Wildlife Center. A lot of this stuff was donated by somebody who brought us a swan. The swan had died of lead poisoning. So we bought a lead testing machine, which is over there. We pull the blood, we test it for lead, and we treat it right away. I think it takes a special person to volunteer here. It's a lot of hard work and you're gonna be standing on your feet. We start at seven o'clock in the morning and we go till seven o'clock at night. Well, I've known about Phoenix Wildlife Center for a while, being involved in the animal community. I sent a little cover letter about myself. Kathy said yes, that she'll take me on as a volunteer. So for two years, I'm gonna be learning everything through her. There's a whole checklist and a packet she has for me and she has to teach me everything. And then I'll uh, be able to be permitted as a wildlife rehabber in the state of Maryland. So I'm excited. It's a new chapter for me. I think we're a great community resource. You call us and we tell you what to do and how to handle it. And we would decide whether that animal really needed help or not. It basically gets a second chance at life. We're that calm person on the other end of the line helping them through something. Kathy and I really like answering the phone and talking to everyone and hearing what's going on. And sometimes people just want to know what to do or they want to know if things are okay. And it's sweet, we'll have people who call back the next day to see how the animal was that they found or that they helped. Phoenix Wildlife is 100% community supported, so. Every person who comes to our doorstep is trying to make a difference. Without them, we wouldn't be here. 